Permit me to introduce to you sit down, sit down. the House Legislature, the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Peter Gregory Obi, His Excellency. You are welcome, sir. Thank you. Good morning, everybody. Our party chairman, our DG, and all the stakeholders of our party present, gentlemen of the press. Good morning. This is a press conference. Having followed a prolonged identity crisis that recently played out in the American court system and the controversy surrounding the authenticity of the Chicago State University credentials of Chief Bola Ahmed Tunibu, I must confess I'm distressed as a Nigerian. In addition to the barrage of media frenzy that the matter has triggered at home and abroad. I have had the unwholesome burden of responding to embarrassing questions about the Nigerian overall credibility as a nation to privilege audience and individuals both at home and abroad in different parts of the world I've traveled recently. To the outsiders, the entire Chicago University matter, as well as Chief Paula Ahmed Tinibu's many other lingering identity question marks have further worsened Nigerian less than glorious image internationally. Uninformed outsiders now see every Nigerian as a foster, certificate forger, or identity thief. The controversy is unnecessary, just as the implicit global embarrassment could have been avoided. In my opinion, Chief Paula Ahmed Tinibu should have saved the nation and himself this protracted embarrassment and undo sight. Even in this late in the day, however, Chief Ahmed Bola Tinibu still owes the nation and the world a simple debt of obligation only he can discharge. I therefore respectfully and humbly call on him to immediately and personally mount the restroom of his present high office to perform a simple task once and for all time. He should reintroduce himself to the nation he governs and to the world for avoidance of further doubt. He should let the world know his name, his nationality, his place of birth, his parentage, the primary and secondary school he attended with dates as well as the actual universities he attended and certificates obtained. He should indicate clearly where and when he did his national youth service. In addition, if at any time he had had a change of name, he should state so clearly a circumstance that is never in self is no crime. This is a simple task that will take only a few minutes. It requires no affidavit, prolonged court process, spokesperson, agents or surrogates. The task is one that only chief Bola Tinibu himself, through a direct personal statement, can perform. He must perform this task urgently in order to lay to rest once and for the last time the many lingering doubts and valid speculation about his true identity. A leader cannot source a clear, unambiguous personal statement about his identity to political surrogates official spokespeople, lawyers, or any other person, no matter how highly placed. A matter of personal identity of a leader is too sensitive and central to the function 
of the office he currently occupies to be trifled with, assault or disguised under the cloak of official. It is a, about integrity, morality, values, and the rule of law that defines the character of a nation and its people. In his present capacity as a leader of a nation of over 200 million Nigerians, his true identity is a matter of grave national and international interest. The people deserve to know with certainty the true identity of their leader. And this overrides whatever rights he may have to personal privacy. In addition, to the, inter in addition the international community deserves to know the true identity of the person with whom they will engage on Nigeria. Having stood for an election of elevated office of the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Chief Bola Tinibu have implicitly undertaken to cede the rights of private citizens in favor of life of open disclosure of his true identity and other circumstances that might be of public interest. His personal integrity demands no less. The legitimacy of the office he currently occupies demands that much and even more. Respect for the integrity and esteem of the Nigerian nation within the Committee of Nations makes it even more incumbent and compulsory. It is time to do the right thing. Long live the Federal Republic of Nigeria. I will not just start by giving you my academic record. I will start by introducing myself to you. My name, given name at birth by my parents, is Peter Omoba C. O. B. That was what my parents gave, gave me at birth. I don't answer my Igbo name because some of you might not know. What it means is that I cannot die. So I choose not to answer it. I don't know why my father gave me that name. But that's my name. My name is Peter Omuba Sobi. Because I go to, I go to, uh, I'm a Catholic, I'm a Christian. Our confirmation, my confirmation name was Gregory. I love the name Gregory. Great. So you will see me write always Peter Gregory Obi. I studied my primary school in Santa Maria, Onicha, before the war. After the war, we came back. I went to a primary school called Holy Trinity Onicha. I was there for a few years when my auntie, who was a principal at a place called Umuaba Alam Primary School, took me because she wanted to live with me. So I stayed there. From there, I passed common entrance to go into Christ the King College. I was in Christ the King College from September 1973 till 1978. I then went to University of Nigeria, Soka, from 1980 to 1984 read philosophy and had a BA second class in philosophy. Thereafter, I've been to so many other institutions for training which I will show you by CV before you leave now and I'll make sure I have it circulated and I can claim to be an alumnus of some of those schools that I went for training among which include Lagos Business School, Kellogg Graduate School, Oxford University, said Business School in Oxford, Cambridge, George Business School, IMD in Switzerland. There's so many other places that have gone for training, for me, Seattle in France, Columbia in New York, Lord, so these are 
no longer private to me. Everything I read or any call thing that these programs are participated are documented. When I give you my CV, whenever I write down here, I'll show you what I did there and that open for verification. It's no longer a private thing. You, you must be verified. Thank you. On issue of whether on invitation of the PDP presidential candidate, let me retreat again. Whenever there's an issue of national interest, I'm involved in it, invited or uninvited, because about our country. Oh, no, no.